Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters. This is round five of our recent WCQ. Uh, my name's Aaron. And I'm Shane. Uh, this is Ben Hammer on the left against Luke Bennett on the right. It's a very important game because they're currently both X1. And uh, Shane's going to want to talk about Luke Bennett right now. Um, he's actually somebody to watch out for in the country. Yeah, actually he's um, he's been doing really well in tournaments in Midlands, uh, Coventry, Worcester... Dudley, Manchester, all over the world. They're shuffling right now. <laughs> I've seen Luke Bennett play recently and I was bewildered by his style, skill. And uh, this guy's played Chicken Game, um, and he's drawing many cards. I think Chicken Game is pretty bad. Chicken Game but, um, currently reflects his emotions. When you go against a player like Luke Bennett, you are a chicken, and you are losing the game. Indeed. I, I do believe he is 2,000 life points on. But um, actually, he's running some sort of turbo deck. Ah, Royal uh, Magical Library. Maybe it's like a uh, Exodia. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Cliff Orcs. It's Cliff Orcs. Okay. Yeah, because it'll, it'll just draw into... It's, it's Apocalypse or Towers Turbo. So... Uh, Luke Bennett's actually really, really, really good. Uh, he's been destroying tournaments all around the Midlands. Uh, he's actually a massive guy to uh, look out for. But if this guy on the left defeats Luke Bennett, it will be a massive upset. Yeah, Luke's... Uh, he's been... currently the favourite to win the whole tournament. He, I, I thought he was the favourite. I mean, he lost one round, but that was, I think the guy cheated. I swear to God the guy cheated. I, I heard there was a iffy ruling. Yeah, and Luke Bennett I got swear. screwed. I, I mean, that's the only way to do it. Anyway. Um, so he's gone a uh, Clifford Disc. Um, look at that cut. That was a pretty good cut. I I'm mm. gonna just say it. So um, Luke gets to have a turn. Look how he drew that card. He slipped it across the mat like that. Beautiful. You know somebody's a good player when they can do that. Be Look how he shuffles the hand. Are you ready? It's gonna shuffle. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna start using green sleeves. Me too. I would just like it. So let's see what the legend does. Uh, so Infernoid! Infernoid. It's Infernoid time! So Petrelia is going to destroy some spells and traps. That is probably exactly what I would expect from such yeah, a great He'll destroy the pendulum card. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I was really thinking about destroying God, those hands. God. I'm just going to say, it's over. This game is Luke Bennett. When you can shuffle your hand like that, you know he is good at wanking. <laughs> no, seriously. There is no chance Luke loses this. It can't happen. He's like... He's gonna kill all the scales and he's got no cards in hand. It's over! Oh my god! His Raiden. So Here it comes. Stuff. Boom. Boom. Some stuff in the oh, he uses the things. Grand Horn. Just uh, like his Grand Horn. His horn is much larger. So. That's a very good point. He doesn't end any phases. He's he pretending going. to read the card, he knows every effect in the game. He does. He's, he is a strong. He's actually using this. I've, I know Luke Bennett. This is a psychological uh, advantage he's bringing right here. He reads the card to pretend he does not know what the cards do. Duh! And then the opponent gets confident, over cocky, thinks he doesn't know the deck very well, but he can counter. Duh, he's a beast. He's the best player right now. One time, I almost beat him. You didn't. Stop fucking lying! Um, I did? No, you didn't. Do you want to know how I almost beat him? Did he almost scoop? Did he get bored? We were in the game, he went to the toilet, and I cheated and looked at his top cards and shoved them back into the deck. Ah. He came back from the toilet, I stacked his deck so he'd lose, and he somehow magically drew a different card. Ah, the I Luke don't know Lennon's strategy. Gotcha. <laughs> Send him to the toilet, that's how it works. If Paul Race was there, I would have got the win, but what can I say? <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch this video. <laughs> Alright, so, what the fuck is that? Is that Skylight? I think it's Scarlet. Scarlet wouldn't kill it. It's not been special. No, it's not Scarlet. It can't be Scarlet. Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! Oh, god! oh shit! Oh no! What was he thinking? Oh my god! Did that really just happen? Oh my god! <laughs> so he went from actually having the game one to. And uh, the guy just drew the scale, so here comes the Wait, entire Wait, you know it's the boy, don't you have to discard him in the turn? Yeah. Did the guy discard? Dropped his entire hand. Oh, okay, he did. Okay. Dropped his entire hand. All I'm gonna say, Shane, is... Whoops! Whoops-a-daisy! Yep. 
I think this is actually not Luke Bennett. It must be a clone. It's somebody impersonating him. Or maybe he's just trying to get his opponent. I heard sometimes he loses game one on purpose. Exactly, exactly. Because he's bored of having just even advantage games. Because he wins two. Yeah. If he gives a game win, reasoning, there is some reasoning, point. reasoning, reasoning. Oh, watch it! Oh, he's gonna drop everything. He stacked it to the bottom. He stacked it. Oh, look at that! You literally can't lose without a drop like that. Because he can divert. You now, blow up all the scales and attack over. There is no way Bennett will lose this game. All right, this is now game. He's had two chances of this. Deveity, drop deveity, blow up the scale. Deveity, blow up the scale. Fade, drop deveity. Okay, okay, he's gonna drop deveity and blow up the scale, Shay. We don't know this. Just, just watch the game and have faith in our Did he just Lord drop another reason? No, he used. Um, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Please. He's gonna be slow about it, but he's gonna do it. Get around. Deveity! You did Yay! it! Hooray! I am so proud of this guy. Well, I mean, God. Why wouldn't he? So he's dropped everything. Yep. All dead. Uh, the disc is too small. Uh, put that to the edge, right? Yeah. Alright, I think we know who's going to win this game. Why hasn't that disc gone to the edge, right? It's only round five, Shane. We haven't got to the really good players yet. JK, just uh, he obviously forgot. So, monster effects. Pretty hard. Wow, he drew some. Ew, shit. Are you actually serious? That's actually a dream. I think that's the best top. It's literally the best top. Turn around, gets that. He's basically gets him both skills. Yeah. So now he can just drop it. But, then again, nothing can get out of the bear to me. Unless he's got a pocket full of towers in hand or something like that. Which would be hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. An, an, ins an insane top. Actually, if he's got uh, like any monster in hand, he can tribute it and he's drawn from Mono. So he's going to just drop an entire field to Mono Mono. Like the entire field. Oh dear. Free shit. So tribute to four. Uh, stuff. Oh, here comes the pain! Yeah, that's game. <laughs> Holy shit, that top. Luke got destroyed by a top. It, it was pure luck. It's pretty obvious Luke will come back and win this 2 1. Yeah. I've much. never in my entire life seen him lose a match. That one loss he had, it's only a rumor. I think maybe there was a mistake in the match there. I, I really think it was. Um, he's too good to win. So he, he was just like, all right, Luke's gonna start playing serious now. Yeah. Um, this is where he really turns it on. I mean, so, the, guy, the guy had to get really lucky. He had to draw that. Um, so that you know, while the side decking, why don't you tell everyone uh, his credentials? There's a long list. I don't think we have much time to even list a tenth of what he's done. But Holy shit! This, no, this is actually. Just start off with his most prominent victories. Uh, I heard he came fifth at a recent Worcester. Yeah. He, um, last weekend came fifth. He did really well. He did really well. He's, he's doing so good. Yeah, and I've he's also good. seen he's him go better than X2. He's a really good lad. He's yeah. a really good lad. And I stole a chip from him in Nando's, actually. Did you actually? Actually, somebody else stole the chip and gave him. So that was a minus one. Oh. I feel bad. Well, he stole his chip. He stole his chip from now goes and ate it. It was a cheeky chip. He was really sad. He was really sad. Really? Oh, he's upset. What are you doing? I feel, I feel upsetting bad. him. I feel bad. I feel what are you bad. What are you doing? You better buy him a Nando's next time. Because I stole a chip? Yeah. I'll give him a chip. Right? No, you buy him a Nando. No! Or if he wins this match, I will buy him a Nando. No, because you know the outcome. He's going to win, obviously. Well, then you. We don't need to watch the rest of this, and we will be buying. Well, you'll be buying him a Nando. Cheeky Nando. Yeah, I know what happens. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil it for the audience. You just did! Oh no! So Luke is taking a wild side up. He's thinking of, of the options right now. When you have the game knowledge he does, it can take a long time to side up because 
you really do consider every potential card and every potential combination against a deck like Clifford's. And it's not so simple just to side in a few and take out a few. Of course, you have to really think about synergy, how it affects the speed of your deck. He's, of deck. He, he's more interested in the Nando's you like to see. Oh, the Nando's. Yeah. I bet right now all he's thinking about is the Peri Peri Chicken. Yeah. Because I remember this event, I bought a bunch of cards off it, and then we went to Nando's. No, yeah. we didn't. We didn't go to Nando's. That, that was the uh, the. Yeah, that was a different thing. Yeah, we went to Nando's some other time. Yeah, this is where we left at twelve and got a oh, kebab. God. We got a kebab. No, we got a shitty pizza. You had a shitty pizza. I had a kebab. Oh, shitty pizza, dude! I've been living off shitty pizzas. They're actually <laughs> the best things ever. You've been living off shitty pizzas. I really oh, like yeah. them. I like them more than Domino's now for some reason. Shitty pizzas are random pizzas from random pizza places. Yeah. If you didn't know, guys. Are those brown sleeves again? Uh, they look red. Bad red. Like blood red. They look like a bit brown to me. Rust, rusty red. I don't know, dude. I don't know what. They could probably be brown. Alright, Luke. This time, perhaps, you won't run Scarlet into a monster bigger than yours. I, I hope to God that, um... <laughs> How the hell do you do that? How do I do what? Uh, how do you run a skull into a bigger monster without realizing? No, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's good. I believe. Carly! You can do it, Luke! Whoop, whoop! I'm a believer. Represent what's stop! I'm not gonna say it. I'm just not gonna say it. Alright, alright, this guy's going to start with a summoner out. Pretty good. Pretty good, He's right? probably just going to open pop up the Not good for loot. What can you do? There's yeah, not much you can do. No. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so you search the guy, you're probably going to mono up here. That is. A monolith. Yes. I'm gonna get some. Monolith. We should get some. Monolith. One guy lost his monolith, and the guy came up and gave it me, and I was really happy. And then the guy came up and was like, "Hey, did you see a monolith?" So I had to give it back, and I cried. You were gonna take? Did he just wavering eyes? Yes, he did. So he's gonna search. Uh, another scout. He's gonna do scout. If he's got actually, this is towers, isn't it? This is it's looking likely. I think this is just the third turn. I'm um, trying to think in... It's definitely not what you want to do, have be against it. Yeah, I'm trying to think in terms There's towers. Do we have to have Uh... I don't know. I'm trying to think if they do. Really Is that a likely out? Uh... They don't exceed to me. Mm. Hello, baby. towers. Alright, what the bloody hell is he gonna do? So he gets to draw three as well. I'm just gonna draw three. I just don't see Luke winning this. Um, Sorry, Luke, no Nando's for you. Did he just roll the Huh? Is that a world? Oh, it's in Looks, It looked like. Yeah. Oh, God, he's so screwed. That is. How is it, Iowall? That's um, not bad. Not, not about Not bad? Alright. Oh, he could obviously Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon and the Fuse. Cyber Dragon. Because it's a machine. Did Luke side in the Cyber Dragon? I hope so. Maybe he'll. S wait. Stormforth? Uh, no, you can't. Really? Yeah, because it affects it. What the bloody hell? It's unaffected, not. Unaffected. It's, pretty good. it's pretty good. It's really good. Pretty good. It's basically a 35 minute attack. So it's impossible. So there's only Cyber Dragon? Oh, and there, there are arms, there are arms. But on a tube. On a tube. Is that the, the Dark Hole monster? Because yeah. um, that guy, the Apocalypse Towers, is uh, unaffected by monster effects. He by keeps knocking the camera. By monsters that are a lower level, and it's the exact same level. So, so he needs to get an option now, if he can just drop them. Is that an option? Uh, no, it was devoted to it. Mm. This is a good ball. If Luke Bennett ended up in prison, Oh God! How long would it take until? Yeah, uh, yeah, I get it. Um, until he is not the same guy he was when he walked in. I mean, yeah, when does he lose his virginity? 
he ends up in prison. I'm curious. Less or more than a week. I don't think we should be discussing it. But less than a week. Alright, let's change the channel. Definitely. <laughs> How in a cell! <laughs> <laughs> Pay per view! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> is he? I don't think he has outs. No, no, he doesn't. This is beautiful. Comedy. He's just very slowly considering scooping right now. Uh, I think like Deity is the move if you can get it out because at least you kill the scales. And maybe can wait out until you draw reason and try and get him up to. There is ways around, but it's a bit of a roundabout way. And he's still got two cards in hand, and then he can still do something on his move. Basically, you summon the you blow up the guys, yeah. and, and wait out. You you have to hold up. Why would he go to prison? Why would he go to prison? Yeah. Hmm. What did he do? Oh, he ended. Oh, he can do. Uh, maybe he hasn't got enough for the bail. Because the thing is, he's going to keep dropping cards from his hand. With towers, yeah, makes him discard. But look, he's, he's just gonna drop the whole thing. Loot may as well escape. It's just too much. Uh, yeah. Oh no, the grand horn! The grand horn! Oh baby! Gotta go, gotta go. Set sail for the grand horn. Oh, I get it. It's the grand line, but it's set grand sail line. for the grand horn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. It's gonna do some stuff, and then look how he draws and skate. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just said something. He poked the scale. He sure did. He just set three. Holy shit! Oh god. I want to see him drop a second of Tower. Don't say that. I think the only thing to do there was Deveity, if he had I don't even know if he had it. Here think. comes the scoop. I'll put, put my thing on it. There we go. Wow! It's a shocking result. Massive upset, but yeah. Bennett. Lost? God, oh, worst. Uh... Well, it's a shocking result, guys, but I hope you enjoyed. That's good. No, don't, don't you go. Aaron Oisley with Nando's!